this is saying take a look at yourself and don't be standing up like you're all puffed up and better than your brother and sister that failed. Because you're not. I've made some bad mistakes in my life and I tell you what, I can tell you that this church loved me through a bad, bad period of time in my life. And, uh, and, and the correction came with humbleness. Not somebody that's haughty and think that they're better than somebody else. Well, I'm going to tell you something. If you think you're better than somebody else, uh, when you're doing that, you're in trouble. You are in more trouble than the person that actually was in fault when you, when you act that way. Now, I've had a lot of uncomfortable uh, conversations, you know, since I've been in this walk, doing some self-examination, and it's so easy for me to minister unto you and most anybody else because I've done that much wrong in my life that I can relate to whatever it is. You may not think I got the brother Jimmy. Ain't no way you can understand this. You'd be surprised at what I understand. And I can use those experiences, but you know, sometimes the Holy Spirit would call upon me and say, okay, you need to go to so-and-so's house, and this is what you need to say. I'd be like, oh, really? Really? You want me to you know, say that to that person? See, the thing about it is, it's out of love. Um, I know uh, me and Brother Dave have been on this journey together, whether he was in church or out of church, for quite some time. And I can think back a period of life where they were struggling and they were having problems and there was a lot of things going on. Me and him really didn't know each other, but I hope he, he don't mind me using this example because I love him to death. Um, and the Lord had put it on my heart to go by and see him. He was laid up. It wasn't long after he had been shot, had his surgeries, and he's laid up in the house. I don't know for how long. And the Holy Spirit told me, you need to go and tell him to quit feeling sorry for himself and get up. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> this man doesn't know me well enough, Lord, for me to go and say that to him. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. But guess what? Jimmy did that. So sometimes it's uncomfortable going to somebody that you love. You know, if I went to Randall and I seen something he was doing in his life and I knew that it was going to cause him some major trouble or loss in his life as a brother, somebody that is spiritual, I'd go to him out of love and pull him to the side and say, Brother, you're going to lose your job. You're going to lose your family. You're going to lose this or that. We do it out of love. And God expects it of you. You've got a light in you and it's called the Holy Spirit of God. And, and, and you've got to have that love and that compassion for your brothers and sisters and love them enough to go to them and counsel them even when you've got to tell them that they're doing something wrong. 